Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am going to be recording the full day today. Um, I'm feeling just sitting there crying, I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna record the full day today. Show you exactly what I can and possibly will be getting up to of a busy enough day. Um, it's ten o'clock now on a Wednesday, so I'm up now, clean my room, make my bed and stuff, and then have a quick coffee. But I'll show you what I get in the. What I do in the meantime, we're gonna make the bed in three, two, one. So it's done. Starting the day off on a positive note. Every single morning, I make my bed without fail. Just gives me that something. You know, when you walk back upstairs from going back downstairs and the room is already clean, the bed is made, no better feeling. Definitely recommend making your bed first. This is the quote of the day book, which I have since the start of the year. I text Ellie every single day with the quote of the day. Some of them don't make sense. But some of them are really, really good. So let's see what today, May 20th. Those who say it cannot be done should not interrupt doing it. Okay, so that's that. Um, face wash is done. I don't know if you could see it in that. So a lot of people ask me what other products would I use on my face. All Kiehl's. So this is the Kiehl's Facial Fuel um, for energizing face wash. Then I have the Kiehl's then, I only got this the other day, off Ellie and the Age Defender. So cream moisturizer. So yeah, a lot of people ask me what do I use to whiten my teeth. Never really whiten them, to be honest with you. Um, but I should because I drink a lot of coffee. But this is the product. Why won't it fucking focus? There it is. So this is the product Oral-B. Um, and then of course an electric toothbrush and then this this here plaque whitening so when i put up the q a yesterday as well i said on my instagram Jeez, i do look really really tired hello hello good morning come here good morning no i don't no i don't just get up there. Yeah? Big stretch. Yeah? Good boy. You're only awake. Yeah? Yeah. Only awake. So what I said yesterday as well, is the screen dirty now? No, no, the screen's not dirty. What I said yesterday on my Instagram was that while I'm doing this full day of recording on the Wednesday, I'll answer some questions. So I had some interesting questions. Um, one of them was, um, are you successful? And I was like, no. Like, that, that was running through my head for the whole day, and I was saying to myself, no. Wouldn't say that I'm successful in any way at all. Um, one thing that I don't like about myself is I don't have a degree. Um, all my friends would have a degree, and I don't have a degree. But I have two different diplomas that I've done, but they were uh, both for like 12 weeks, which, which are grand, because when I started them, I could see the finish line straight away, you know, instead of, instead of doing them for three or four years. The only thing that's putting me off doing or having a degree is the three or four years, and then just time and putting my head to it. Just so many other things going on in the day, you know. Um, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't think I'm successful. I'm still living at home. Um, when I have my own house, um, I'll be, I'll, that would be a big goal of mine. That was another question. What my goals for this year? Goals for this year is to have a nice new car. Like a really nice new car. So I'm saving my ass off for that at this moment in time. But yeah, would I define myself successful? Not at all. So we have no crunchy, no cornflakes left in the house. I should have known that from yesterday, so I'm making myself porridge, show you exactly what I would make it and what I'm putting put in a porridge to make it somewhat tasty. One scoop, two scoop, three scoops. Boom. Coffee made out of this, just from boiling water, it's so nice. I do have an espresso machine as well, which is nice, but kind of growing more so towards these every day, and it's much stronger, I think so. Any interest in their coffee? Let me know. Actually, I'm talking to a friend yesterday about coffee beans. There's many people that are watching this, or if anyone watching this, um, buy coffee beans or use coffee beans in the house with like a French press or a machine. Let me know and let me know how much better the coffee tastes or the quality of the coffee because I'd love. I'm a big coffee fan, and um, especially when I go out. Obviously, with everything being closed right now, I'd be getting flat whites every single place I go to, and I probably have about three or four coffees a day. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you do buy your beans somewhere and if so what beans and that's not what you think of that. Alright so I was looking to see what I'll put in my porridge today and I had a look at this there so honeycomb crunch 
from Clever Foods. If you don't follow me, you won't know about Clever Foods, or you may follow Clever Foods actually. They're the healthy snacks versions that you can get anywhere um, online um, and then deliver to your door or else shipped to anywhere around the country. So I'm actually just going to put this into the porridge. So that's it in there right now. I'm gonna just give that a mix around and let it sit for a few minutes and then see what we're dealing with. So this is it, melted and mixed around. I'm gonna put some flax seeds on top of that. Flax seeds are just a load of vitamins and stuff and just makes it a bit of a flavor. And that though. Okay, so we let the, um, the camera charge there for about a half an hour or so. It's coming up to 25 to 12. I'm going to do a workout for 25 minutes out the back. Then go run a 5K and then that's the exercise done for the day. Um, I may go for a cycle later on. Went on a cycle nearly every day this week and last week, but that's it for today anyway for the exercise. So I'm just gonna go get cracking on it now. I'll show you a little few clips of you coming out. No, you staying in here. As you can probably see, I'm not a fitness instructor in any way. But I do enjoy the gym, to be honest with you. I don't enjoy the gym as much as I enjoy eating, because I eat absolutely everything, everything around me. Even that breakfast now is coming back around on me. Quite heavy the bar was, to be honest with you. It's not why I should have had peanut butter in it. But we live and learn, we live and learn. Um, Another question, another question that I just looked up on the phone there before I came back out here was what have I been doing during isolation? This is it really, this is exactly it. So I'd wake up, obviously with my new website launch, so I changed the name of Dublin Yums to Ireland Yums. I had the Ireland Stays page there as well, which is the hotel side of it, which is completely on hold at this moment of time. But um, I changed both of them to Ireland. Yums and stairs. Then I made the website called Ireland's Best. So I'll link that in the bio of this for anyone who would like to check it out. Um, anyone looking at this is who owns businesses, restaurants, cafes, or of course hotels. Reach out to me and we can line something up on how we can work together. But um, that's what I've been doing really for the most of it, for the start of it. It's kind of been mad, like it's three months nearly into it, which is crazy. Um, so obviously working with one agency recruitment, that there was, there was no one hiring, there was no jobs. So that was just completely closed down for the meantime, and I don't know, I'm unsure of what the story is regarding going back there, or if it's gonna be opening back up, I'm, I'm honestly not too, not sure at all. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing, then working out, out the back garden, trying to stay fit, going on jog, going on cycles. My dad built a ping pong table, which is getting serious. Well, uh, when I worked in AIB, I used to play ping pong on breaks, and if anyone, Who's looking at this again? I can put money on it as well because I feel like I'm very good at it now. Very good indeed, but that's it really. Trying to read as well. Like I got this book called Miracle Morning. I've read like 20 pages of it. I just cannot focus on something like that. Um, but that's about it. Nothing really exciting. Um, I seen Ellie yesterday for the first time. Went for a walk the other Got the car cleaned. And that's that. But yeah, what have you been doing? Another question that I get asked all the time, and I don't really know the right answer for it. It's like, how do you become an influencer? Or, or how, how do you become Instagram famous, or TikTok famous, or anything like that at all? No idea. Um, um, and then I get asked the question, how did I become an influencer? Like, I, I wouldn't call myself an influencer to absolutely anyone at all. Um, I'd be more inclined to influence you to do the wrong things instead of the right things at all. So, definitely wouldn't consider myself an influencer or anyone at all like that, but, it's just consistency, I think, like, like there hasn't been a day in, in, I'd say, the last four years where I haven't spoke and interacted with followers on my story and on my Instagram. So the only advice I'd really give is just to keep connecting, whether it's for the right reasons or the wrong reasons. Um, whether they're wrecking people's head or whether they're not wrecking people's heads, they're thinking about you and they, like, they're giving out about you, they're talking about you. It's all going to lead back to people knowing more and more about you. But definitely just keep going and keep Given 100% to your social media if you want to exceed in that or grow in it in any way at all. But it's that really, you know? I didn't set out to be an influencer or anything at all. Um, another question then, just to finish off on. My favourite brand to work with at this moment in time. And um, of course, I'd say if people have seen me talk about it on my Instagram page, TNT, they're only launched at the last number of months, which I just 
can't get your head around how successful they've been so already. So it's the, they're the number one trading company in, in Ireland at this moment in time. And um, for anyone who is interested in trading, and um, drop me a message after this, and I'll give you some information on how to go about it and a number of certain steps. But the lads at TNT, Tommy and TJ, hopefully they'll get them on this channel soon enough now if we stay active. But when well, no, I will stay active, I will stay active on this. Um, they're just killing it. They've over 1,500 members. Um, they're a lot of marketers, they've staff now, people running their Instagram page, but everything, it's just unreal. So TNT will be the number one company that, I've, that I'm working with this moment of time, that I'm enjoying with. Then cloud brands such as Boohoo, Couture Club, AJ Menswear of course. There's loads, like they come and, they come and go, um, but they're the long term ones anyway, yeah. Okay, so over to the park now, going to do certain amount of sprints up and down. I was going to do a 5k but I brought the camera with me so I was going to do a certain amount of sprints. I'll leave it here into a little bit of a time lapse and then I'll answer a few more questions. I was looking on the phone there before I came over but what a cracker of a day. It's been so nice. Honestly, it's been so nice. I have the ball with me as well though because running I think is the most boring thing in the world. Even listen to music. Cycling now, I'll cycle all day but running is just in fact so boring. And for anyone who is looking to get into doing something, I recommend getting a bike and going. Right. So, into a few questions. Three kilometers done, by the way, there. Three kilometers. Battery and all going again. Don't know what the gig is. So, into a few questions, yeah? Yeah. Grand. Question number one that comes up. Where do you see yourself in five years? Love that question. Five years from now, I'd love to see myself in my own home with a successful couple of businesses behind me. Owning them, of course. Uh, being fairly well off, of course. I think everyone would like to be fairly well off and have a decent supply of money. And um, have my own Merc and then have Ellie's Merc beside my Merc parked in a parked off house. Um, what's it called? A detached house, just nothing around it or anything like that, but it's still in the house and I say Five years from now, I could possibly have two kids, I'd say In five years, when it, five years, I'll be 29, so I'll have one kid anyway by then, I'd say, absolutely, well, fingers crossed, hopefully Hopefully, but yeah, just being able to travel, not working, I'd love to not work um, And just be doing something like this full time, overviewing a business, something like that uh, can you explain the holiday? I don't know what that means, um, but on holiday terms, like myself and Ellie are meant to be going away in two a week, about 12 days from now. First of June, we're meant to be flying to LA, staying in LA for 10 days, and then going to Vegas. I got the flights for Christmas. We are flying business class and all over. Um, so I still haven't heard from Aer Lingus actually as well. So if anyone works for Aer Lingus, really let me know what the story is, whether or not you get a voucher or your money back or what way. I don't really want the money back. I kind of just want to go on holidays as soon as this is over. So yeah, and um, we also have Fort Aventura booked for August for both of our birthdays. I booked that as well for myself and Ellie. Um, both, both of them, we just had flights booked, thank God, because if we had a, had a accommodation booked, it would have been a bit of, bit of a messy one because um, the whole situation that we're in. What else questions? I seen this one there just as I was walking around. If you were to know the truth about three things, what would they be? That is a tough question. Like I'd have to think about that. Know the truth about three things, I don't know. Uh, my favourite chocolate. That's a silly question. Silly question, if, if you know me, you know what's my favourite chocolate. How long have me and Ellie been together? I'd say five years, I think. Ellie will know the exact date, but it's been a while. It's been a long time. What am I doing in quarantine? Answered that earlier on. Who's the last conversation in the winter? Uh, do you play for a football team? I do. I play for St. Paul's and Artane. Missing actually that football big time. Because we're well on to win the league as well. So fingers crossed we get back playing, and especially the weather stays like this. Favorite thing about Ellie? Just how happy she is and how normal. Like. She's so down to earth about absolutely everything. For anyone who's watching this who's met her, she's just, she's just a dream all around. She's funny. Um, everything, everything. I love Ellie. Everything about Ellie, I suppose. Um, where about you from? Where about you from? Bombell Kulak. Yeah. 